Hello, here's my second video on the market for lemons, doing some more examples. So here we have two types of used cars, lemons and good used cars. The share of used cars that are lemons is given by S subscript L, and the share of good used cars is just one minus S. Uh, buyers and sellers are risk neutral. Buyer's maximum willingness to pay for a lemon is $2,000. Buyer's maximum willingness to pay for a good used car is $4,000. Seller's reservation price or minimum asking price for a lemon is $1,500. And seller's reservation price or minimum asking price for a good used car is $3,000. Question one. How much are buyers willing to pay for a car of unknown quality? So here, this is just going to be a weighted average of the buyer's willingness to pay for a lemon and a good used car. And the weights here are going to reflect the share of cars that are lemons. So just doing the math here, 2,000 times S plus 1 times 4,000 minus S times 4,000. We get the following, simplifying that further. This is how much buyers are willing to pay for a car of unknown quality. And if we want, we can assume, say, say S here, the share of lemon cars is 0.5 or half the cars are lemons on the market. Again, buyers don't know which car is a lemon or which one is a good car. Making that substitution buyers at most would be willing to pay $3,000 for a car of unknown quality. Same setup here as the last screen. And question two. Here we have uh, asymmetric information. Sellers know the quality of cars, but buyers do not. If the share of lemons is 0.75, 75% of the cars are lemons, how many good used cars will be sold? So from the last uh, screen, uh, we're just going to get in using a weighted average here, where the weights are going to be the 0.75 here for the share of cars that are lemons. Plugging 0.75 into the equation, if 75% of the cars are lemons on the market and buyers cannot tell which car is a lemon, at most buyers are willing to pay $2,500. Uh, but here is the problem. Seller's minimum asking price for a good used car is $3,000. So sellers will remove their good used cars from the market. They're not going to willing to sell a good used car for th uh, for uh, $2,500 when they require $3,000. So in this case, the there will be zero good use cars that will be sold and the good use market break and the good use car market breaks down. And finally, example three. Information on quality is symmetric. Let's assume both buyers and sellers know the quality of each used car. What is the price of a lemon? Well, the price is just going to be between the buyer's maximum willingness to pay and the seller's reservation price. And what will be the price of a good used car? So good used cars will be sold in this, in, in this uh, market. Uh, information on the quality of cars is known on both sides of the market so the price will be somewhere between buyer's maximum willingness to pay and the seller's reservation price between three and four thousand dollars all right that's my example so i hope you found this video helpful